I'm Dr. Glenn Gordon, and I'd like to talk to you about your arthritis. You are among the largest group of people with a single disease in the United States, and each year billions of dollars are spent treating your arthritis. Let's look at the new and the old regarding your condition. This is the tested and new technology. And at the top of that list, you'll see nanosecond pulse electromagnetic field technology. If you're able to Google, Google PubMed, which is our National Library of Medicine, and you'll see multiple articles there, scientific articles, that show the efficacy of this technology. In addition to being highly effective, it's also safe and it's non-invasive. The World Health Organization itself declared this technology free of adverse effects. It stops your pain, it stops your arthritis. Anti-inflammatory agents unfortunately may stop your pain, but they do not stop your arthritis as many of you know. And when they fail to stop your arthritis, they unfortunately lead to surgical replacement or joint replacement of those inflamed joints. It is possible using these pulse electromagnetic fields devices that you won't need that surgery. If you have any cartilage tissue remaining, it's quite possible that you can restore that and give yourself a tolerably uh, painful or less painful knee. We have a number of people who say that their pain went from an 8 on a scale of 10 to a scale of 2 on that scale of 10 and that's the difference between needing surgery and not requiring surgery. What does it take to do that? It's a small cell phone sized device. This is called the impulse solo. Imagine just running this across the joint, your knee, your hands, your elbow, wherever you have your arthritis and having that pain stop and actually having the arthritis slowed to the point where you won't need to face that surgical replacement. Very simple, very inexpensive. Let's look at failed technologies. The failed technologies I want to talk to you about here are anti-inflammatories. The American Heart Association itself has noted they cause stroke. They cause heart attack. When do they cause the stroke and the heart attack? They cause it when you take the medication. Because the artery damage occurs now, the stroke and the heart attack occurs later. <clears throat> so if you're a teenage, if you're a teenage person with arthritis, you want to be very careful about using this. You might be much smarter to use something newer. It is more novel, that's for certain, but it's certainly highly effective. It causes gastric bleeding, kidney problems, and liver problems. These are all things that you people know yourself. You've seen it, read it in the paper. <clears throat> Unfortunately, anti-inflammatories additionally delay the healing, and as noted earlier, they stop the symptoms, but they do destroy, they allow the joint destruction to continue. So this is not even a race. Use impulse. This is the latest and the newest technology. It is reported in the National Library of Medicine. It's been studied by NASA. It's, it's highly effective. This is your opportunity to try something new and to avoid the potential of surgery and added disability. Thank you very much. Next time, I'm going to be talking to you about low back pain and sciatica. So tune right in here again, and we'll cover that topic on our next discussion.